Hey, Steve. Good, how are Good you? to see you again, man. Yeah. Hello, Andy. Oh, hi, kitty cat. <laughs> What's your cat's name? Uh, that cat is Scruffy. 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 Yeah, it's a, it's a long story. Uh, you know something? I invited him, and he's actually a big fan of your work, Scott. But um, I guess he, wow. he, he gets intimidated wow. by directors. That's, that's oh, fair boy. Enough. Well, I'm happy that, that certainly somebody at Collider likes it, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Being serious, uh, Scott, the last time we spoke about antlers, it was you, Guillermo, and I. And, he, and we were talking about Disneyland. And you mentioned you had never been, and Guillermo offered to take you. Have you been able to go with Guillermo yet? You know, I haven't, and he has invited me to go again, but I've been on location uh, uh, prepping a film that I'm about to shoot. But I would love for just Guillermo and me to go to Disneyland. How much fun that would be. Oh, my God. I just want to point out all the people right now who are watching this, who are basically realizing you have an invitation to go to, with Guillermo to Disneyland, like the two of you. And you're like, yeah, I'm too busy. I can't do that. I know. Well, it's not so much that I'm too busy, but, but I am. It's But I'm out of the state. Otherwise, I would make it Fair a enough. point. Fair I'm enough. prepping a movie that I'm about to start shooting in about a month. So, um, But I vow to go with Guillermo del Toro. I'm so curious what Guillermo's um, sell on Disneyland is. Oh, like, what are it. his favorite spots? Like, it's a what good is... question, but he loves it. And he loves to go and he likes to take people. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I, I vow. I, I have a feeling Guillermo trip. likes everything. Like, he's so alive and interested and curious about everything. Do you know what yes. I mean? That's just how he oh. is. He's like, oh, oh my gosh, t- well, let's go. Oh, my God. Let's taste everything. Let's do everything. Yeah. Um, also, he loves Haunted Mansion. So I would imagine that would be your first, possibly first no place. No question. Copy. Without question. Sure. Copy. Yes. So uh, curious, if neither, if someone has never seen anything you guys have done before, what is the thing you want them to start with? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Uh, what, you, what did you say? Well, that's a very good question. Um, Crazy Heart. Because after my first film, Crazy Heart, Crazy which, Heart. which was a much warmer film. I love Crazy My Heart. films then became progressively I darker. Know. What happened? Uh, because Steve, the world became progressively dark, right? Oh. And I could go through all those reasons why. And I'm just holding a mirror up to life. And, and what it reflects back to me is what I've found in my films, because I've always loved the work of Ken Loach or the Dardenne mm-hmm. brothers. And nobody really uh, highlights the, the, the ills that uh, inflict upon a society as well as those what's guys. Gonna get it, what's it going to take to get you back to crazy? But I or... have to get back what's to some the, What's it going to take? Yes, I think I'm starting uh, I'm starting to trend back that way because I'm feeling so much more hopeful about life. <laughs> no, you're not. But perhaps it would be Crazy over. Heart because Jeff yeah. Bridges, yeah. by saying yes to that, I wrote it specifically for mm-hmm. him. Uh, he changed my life by saying totally. yes. And if not for Jeff, I can assure you I would not be sitting here next to the so glamorous great. and talented he's Carrie he's Russell. So great in that. And what about you, Carrie? What 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 from your work? Oh, brother, I don't know. Um, oh, Waitress. Felicity. Oh God. Two great, great performances. Oh guys. Would it be the know. Americans, which is classic TV? Well, you know what? I think I, I think I've got to go with the obvious choice, the Bon Jovi video. The Bon Jovi <laughs> video. Did you know that she was in the Bon Jovi video? I did not know she, you were in the That's Bon Jovi great. video. Yeah, I did. You gotta look that Wearing up. Wearing a green bra. It's it's my finest work. Yeah. I will be linking to it for sure in this interview. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I'm amazing <laughs> in it. it it's, I'm pretty great. It's so right. great. Um, Carrie, I am curious, what was it about the script and story for Antlers that says that said, I, I, I want to do this? I wanted to work with Scott, honestly. Like I I I, I am genuinely a fan of his aesthetic, okay, of his great. movies, and and I thought it was unique that he was gonna try to do this horror movie. And I think uh what he and, and and Florian, our cinematographer, they created this really kind of elegant, gritty, moody horror movie. And um, it was everything I wanted it to be. Uh, so it was really just the filmmakers that were involved. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy, one of the many things I really enjoy about this movie is that you're dealing with what's going on in the real world without like without the film like being preachy, you know? And can you sort of both talk about that aspect of Antlers? Yeah, that was the biggest challenge that I faced, Steve, because, 
you know, if we're being honest, my sensibilities and Guillermo's are almost diametrically opposed, right? In terms of my very grounded experience and his kind of fantastical, whimsical, and 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 he always finds impish humor in his work uh, that some of mine uh, lacks. Um, <laughs> so, look, it's a miracle that 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 any of this uh, uh, works uh, successfully, and also. Um, uh, Again, in trying to hold up a mirror to, to all of the fears and anxieties that Americans are facing, there are a lot. And uh, in my research with uh, uh, Grace Dillon, who's the indigenous professor at Portland State University, she and I was always writing the script and sharing it with her. And she said, Scott, but that's what the Wendigo represents. It takes many, many forms. And, and, and it's first and foremost a spirit, but it, it deals with the desecration of our natural resources and shared grief and abuse and addiction, all the sort of things that course through the film. And she was guiding me as an expert as to, uh, as to what uh, ails us now and what the Wendigo represents. Uh, so that was it for me, but I, I, I really appreciate that you liked it. Thank you. Gary. What was the question again? I don't know. <laughs> I said something about the movie. I'm, I'm joking I also around. love cats. Right, exactly. She loves oh, cats. Was, she dances with Bon Jovi. Yeah. Right. No, it was the fact that the movie deals with a lot of, of what's going oh. on in the world, but it's, it's not preachy about it. Right. Yeah, and I, I think um, I, I also like kind of the math I had to do in my head or I do in my head as an actor, you know, about the monster and everything. To me, it was just sort of a metaphor. The monster is the, the scary stuff. For me, the scary stuff is always, you know, kids like kids being left kind of unattended and terrible things happening to kids that's like an easy a, an easy go-to for a parent to you know find so I, I think um yeah I, I think scare horror movies have always done that right like poltergeist is really about a, a family falling apart sort of or I think that's and you can elevate things with horror movies it, the stakes can be higher really easily um but yeah I, I think scott's version was a grounded version for me to enter into this genre on that note i gotta stop i'm just gonna say scott i'm very happy you're about to start filming another movie sincerely mm -hmm. and Aww. and i really thank you steve no i i i'm i'm, I'm assuming it's the one with bail it is the one with uh, with Christian Bale. Yeah, it's our third together. And uh, I, yeah. I hope to speak to you again soon. And I always enjoy our chats.